Look at these amazing flight animations. You might have seen similar one on someone vlogs or on TikTok. Now, what if I tell you that you don't need to learn the complicated software to create these animations. Not only that, it is possible to create these type of animation for free. Amazing, right? With this easiest flight animation maker, anyone can create these type of animation. Additionally, it has mobile application for Android and iPhone, which means you can use this animation directly for your TikTok or for Facebook Reels. And it is used widely by the YouTubers, including Sam Choi. So let's get started. So the website name is mult.dev. The samples are shown here. You can watch the examples by going here. And if you want to download the application, you will go on App Store or a Google Play Store. There are some reviews. If you are interested, you can read it. But we are interested in creating an animation. So we will, we will click on create animated maps. Once we go there, it has created first animated map for us, which is controlled by these options. If we go on a left side, you will see the cities along with the icons, which shows which transport mode you want to use. So if we look at the animation, it is started from the Japan and after, uh, after reaching to the San Francisco, it used the car and after that the train and the ferry and finally it will use the flight animation. With the free version, it is only possible to create the flight maps, rest are available in a paid version. Now of course we want to edit this stuff, for that we will have to log in. So once we log in, just go there again and now we can edit the record we want. So I will start from the New York and with this option that means flight will be start from here and we'll have to place the destination I will select the Dubai which is uh, of course a big tourist des destination I will select that and now if we look at our animation it is already created so you will see that our flight start from the New York and reach to Dubai along with that it's also showing us the distance and also name of the city we can control this stuff from here. We will go there if we want to add it the name. For example, instead of New York, I want to add the airport name that is John F. Kennedy International Airport. So we will click on that. It will automatically add it to there. Uh, so it will start showing like that. We can add we can add the number of cities as we want. As I have mentioned before, that we only have these three options like this one and that one. So with that we will go and see the animation so it start from the new york to the dubai with this logo uh, with this uh, plane icon and from dubai to the bali without plane icon and from here it will shift ourselves from to the kuala lumpur and from on the from the kuala lumpur again it will start the flight to the fuji islands for the further options we'll have to go to the option tab there are a number of free options and the premium options are available. First one is of course uh, the style. Currently we have the real earth style. But we can go with this style also. It uh, shows like that. The, my favorite one is this gray one. We'll select the, if we select the style, just go there and now countries will be highlighted once our flight reaches there. You will see the map of United States in our right and also map of Dubai is also highlighted. Actually, it's a UE. Once the animation goes further, it will also highlight it with the similar way. The another option is for the resolution. This one is a 101 aspect ratio. Second one is for the YouTube, which is 916 aspect ratio. The third one is for the TikTok and for YouTube short and Facebook reels. If we scroll down, there are few free options available like try to show the full route at the end uh, this option is enabled before and also we can enable the country names and also enable the country flags so now it will show the name of the country and also along with the flag the last but not the least is the language of course there are a few number of languages uh, available we can select from there and of course if you upgrade there are a number of more options available which you can test so once everything is one it's time to export our animation there is a button on the left side up here we'll click on the export button again we have number of options available for the free version we can export in these two resolutions we can select frame per second if we want and click on download button so it will give us this these animations with the logo of multi 
on a bottom side and if you want to remove this logo you will have to pay them some money of course nothing is free in this world so that is all for this tutorial if you learn something new please hit the subscribe button it is free for you but it's mean a lot to me thanks for watching see you again